My name is Willow Heim, and I have lived in Hogansville for 30 years. And it's a wonderful town. Uh, people care about their neighbors. And uh, that was one of the reasons why we started the food closet. People were going from church to church getting the, the handouts, and they really were not adequate. So as a member of the Ministerial Association, because I was a pastor at St. James at the time, we decided to unite the churches and have a, a cooperative uh, food closet where we could give a better box of food for the people. And we started in 2009. Uh, we got our seed money from the Ministerial Association with $1,000. And that particular month, we prayed that we would have 500 clients. And now, we're, last year, we served an average of 254 families, which kind of relates to between 875 and 900 people. Oh, right now, we have 20 volunteers. And we could not do it without the volunteers. Every person that volunteers is vital. We have one man that collects boxes of all things. Now, they may not seem like much, but if we buy the boxes, they're $1.35. And I am so thrifty, actually they call me cheap, that I would not want to spend $1.35 on a box if you couldn't eat it. We purchase our food from Feeding the Valley and we pay 19 cents a pound, which is really a handling charge. It's not really a fee for food. And uh, again, when people donate canned goods, we tell them that we can buy uh, 52.6 pounds of food for $10. And that will feed a family of four. Well, now, I try to make sure that there is starch and vegetables, uh, fruits, and some protein in the box. Uh, we can't buy fresh meat right now, but we've got canned meat. And we've got canned chicken, canned pork, and canned salmon. And throughout the week, you could do something. We're giving also a bottle, a box of chicken broth and a bag of A noodles. And if you dump the kid chicken in the chicken broth and cook the noodles, you got chicken noodle soup. And one of the ministries that I really feel is necessary is the weekend food bags. We give those to children who are at risk for food-wise, that they get all their meals at school and don't particularly have anything on the weekend. I think that's a very sad thing, that in our society, we are not taking care of our children. And again, uh, we do, uh, right now we're currently do. 70 school bags a week. Oh, I really think that you should pick somebody else because, you know, there's just a lot of people that do more than I do. Oh, we are God's bread basket. Again, when we're all working together for one cause, it just makes kind of a good camaraderie.